welcome everyone to my youtube channel today we will solve a get question in which we have to find the power dissipation across the transistor q1 so we have to find the power dissipation across the transistor q1 so this one is a transistor q1 and it is given the regulated unregulated power supply 15 volt and there is a general diode is there and this one is the say we can say this one is say the output voltage V output so we have to find the power dissipation across the transistor so we have to know the formula for the power dissipation so PDC power dissipation across the transistor say Q1 is nothing but simply I C into V C E so this one is the formula we can say the power dissipation across the transistor Q1 is IC into VCE. So we have to find the IC and VCE. In this question also we can assume that the base current is nearly equal to 0. So for the time being we are saying this IB is 0. So now so the here we can see there is a general diode so in the breakdown this voltage is nothing but simply our 6 volt and this inverting input voltage is 6 volt so this voltage will be also 6 volt due to because this one is a open loop open okay so the vid equals to 0 for the infinite gain this voltage V plus equals to V minus ok I am writing V plus equals to V minus so it should be our 6 volt or we can say due to the virtual ground virtual ground G and D virtual ground concept ok so now next this one is 6 volt so we can say that this point is also a 6 volt node okay so now 6 volt is known to us at this point so we can find the current in this one we can say this current so this current say this resistance current so this one is nothing but simply the higher potential 6 minus 0 divided by 24 higher potential 6 minus 0 the ground one by 24 so it should be 1 upon 4 ampere so this current will be 1 by 4 ampere ok so now this one is 6 volt and this one is a op amp so there will be almost 0, zero current will flow because this one impedance across the op amp is very high it is infinity in ideal case so there will be 0 current so now this so this current this current is also same as that of 1 by 4 ampere okay so this current is a bit simply our 1 by 4 ampere okay so this one is 1 by 4 ampere so we can say how much voltage drop across this resistor so we can say the voltage drop across this resistance is nothing but simply V equals to IR so 1 by 4 into 12 so there will be a 3 volt voltage drop in this one ok so I am writing here or it is clear plus minus 3 volt so here the voltage drop will be 3 volt across this resistor ok so now we can say this voltage that is our V output we can easily find by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law using this loop so we can say that by 12 ohm and this one is 6 volt and this one is 3 volt or for the more clear representation I am doing like that some I am saying this one is a V output I am not thinking about the resistance so this voltage drop is 3 volt across the resistor 12 ohm and one more voltage drop across the resistor 24 ohm is how much 6 
volt so the total v output by applying kijos voltage law pick it ground so v output minus 3 minus 6 equals to 0 so it will give the v output equals to 9 volt so the total voltage across this point should be 9 volt basically we have to use the kirchhoff's voltage law and current law so now this one is 9 volt okay so this whole wire have the potential 9 volt so one can easily say this current this current is nothing but simply higher potential 9 minus 0 by 12 so it should be 3 by 4 ampere so this current will be 3 by 4 ampere okay this current is 3 by 4 so this one is the limit simply our ie which is equals to ic nearly equal so now we have to say this point is a so if we apply at this point a this current is nothing but simply our ic and one current is going in that direction that is our 3 by 4 ampere okay and one more current is going in that direction that is our from this side 12 over 24 ohm so it, this current is 1 by 4 ampere okay so total incoming current equals to total outgoing so ic is nothing but simply 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 so it should be around 1 ampere so we can say this ic value is 1 ampere so now ic is known to us okay so pdc ic vce now okay so i am writing here pdc equals to ic into vce and ic is known to us one so make it one and this one is vc minus ve or we can write one into vc vc is the word simply this this end is our collector base and this is a emitter so vc vc is the word simply our 15 volt so we have to write it 15 volt minus VE VE means VE is nothing but simply this voltage VE so VE is same as that of V out this one is same as that of VE okay so VE is nothing but simply our 9 volt so 15 minus 9 our answer should be 6 what okay so the correct answer will be 6 watt okay so this one is the gate question and this is basically a common data question so one more question is there so in that one so this one is clear only we have to apply kirchhoff voltage law current law and we have to know the basic concept of general diode and even the open virtual ground concept because this is open loop open is there so the due to virtual current concept the inverting input voltage is same as that of non inverting input voltage so that's why this one 6 volt so this current will be 0 ampere due to very high input impedance of the op-amp so we have using the simple kirchhoff's voltage law and current law we are making this question so 6 watt with a power dissipation by using icbc formula okay so this part is over so now the other question so the other question is that if the unregulated voltage increased by 20 percent so it is given so initial so initial one or say unregulated voltage old one was how much 15 volt okay now we are saying that we have increased this one by 20 percent so unregulated okay your voltage new will be 15 into 20 percent plus 15 okay this one is the initial one we can say this one is the initial initial you are or we say the old old you are okay old you are that is a 15 volt and there is a 20 percent increment so 
we can write this as a 15 into 20 by 100 plus 15 okay so this 2 to cancel 30 so it should be 3 so it should be 3 plus 15 so it should be 18 volt so the our u r nu will be 18 volt is this okay that is simple thing okay so now our u r nu is 18 volt okay so now so again we have to find the power dissipation across the q1 so power dissipation pd across the q1 same formula ic into vc okay so now in the question what is given now you are each 18 volt so now we can say this one is i am taking different color say this one now this one is 18 volt but due to this general diode this voltage will be again 6 volt so make it 6 volt this should be 6 volt this at this point this one is also 6 so this current will be 4 1 by 4 ampere and this one will again 1 by 4 not a change okay so this voltage drop across this one will be same that is our 3 volt simple thing and this one no need so the 6 volt here so total voltage is again 9 so there will be no change in the VE so VE will be remain same is it okay so IC will also same because this one will be same 3 volt and 6 volt so current will be 1 by 4 and this current will be 3 by 4 so total IC is remain unchanged ok so IC will be same so this IC is nothing but simply our 1 ampere so I am writing 1 then VC new ok so VC new minus VE new ok collect emitter voltage there so 1 into Vc nu is now done what is 18 volt ok so we have to write 18 but Vc Ve nu the voltage across the emitter side is same as that of old ok so it should be what 9 ok so it should be 9 what now in the question it is given means how much percentage change okay so we have to find the percentage change okay so the percentage change how we have to find so percentage change in power dissipation will be new power so p new okay minus p old okay or we can say pd new or pd new by pd old by pd old into 100 percent okay so the new power dissipation will be 9 watt so we have to write it 9 minus old one will be 6 by 6 into 100 percent is it okay so after that we have to solve this one so there is very simple calculation so 3 2 and should be 50 so there is a 50 percent change and this will be increased because initially it is 6 watt now it is uh, 9 watt so our answer will be increased by what 50 percent so this one is the answer for this question common data so we have to use the simple KCL KVL and simple basic power dissipation formula ICBCE and OPM concept so you can encounter such question so thank you for watching and also please subscribe my channel thank you